a principal p becomes q in one year when compounded half yearly with r percentage annual rate of interest if the same principal p becomes q in one year when compounded annually with s percentage annual rate of interest then which one of the following is correct let us consider r as 10 percentage okay yeah, r percentage is 10 percentage now principal p becomes q when compounded half yearly and r percentage is the annual rate means interest received for the first 6 months is r by 2 percentage because compounded half yearly means every 6 months interest is added to principal and here annual rate is r percentage means for one year rate of interest is r percentage then for half year that is for 6 months r by 2 percentage is the interest rate now for the first 6 months interest received is equal to r by 2 percentage r is equal to 10 that means 5 percentage of principal is added to the principal for the first 6 months for this next 6 month again r by 2 percentage is the rate of interest that means 5 percentage of principal again added to the principal for the next 6 month plus compound interest means interest for the interest that is here interest received for the last 6 months is equal to 5 percentage of p again 5 percentage of this interest is added to the next 6 month that is 5 percentage of interest received for the last 6 months is equal to 5 percentage of p that means total here is equal to 5 percentage of p plus 5 percentage of 5 percentage of p that means this is equal to 0.25 percentage of principal total is equal to 5 percentage of p plus 0.25 percentage of p means total 5.25 percentage of principal is added in the next 6 months so total one year is over that means amount generated at the end of one year is equal to principal plus interest received for the first 6 months is equal to 5 percentage of principal plus interest received for the next 6 months is equal to 5.25 percentage of principal that means total 10.25 percentage of principal as interest received at the end of one year now amount generated is p plus 10.25 percentage of principal now for the next session that is if the same principal p becomes q in one year when compounded annually with s percentage annual rate of interest that is for one year s percentage is the interest rate and it also compounded annually that means at the end of the one year interest is added to the principal so s percentage is the rate so at the end of the one year s percentage of the principal is added to this principal that means amount generated at the end of one year is equal to principal plus interest received at the end of one year is s percentage of principal now you can see these q both are equal so if you cancel principal and principal now percentage of principal and percentage of principal you can see we left out with s is equal to 10.25 so s is equal to 10.25 if we consider r is equal to 10 then we will get s as 10.25 that means s greater than r or r less than s this is your answer so option c is your answer